Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I am going to be painting on these canvases. What am I going to be painting? Toast. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe and let's see what I can come up with for today. I'm going to be using acrylic paint for both of these paintings today. I'm going to be using the primary colors being yellow, red, and blue, and I'm also going to be using white in this as well, plus all of these beautiful paintbrushes that are ready to be used. I'm starting off by sketching out my design, which I had to try a few times over. I used a bowl to create a perfect circle for my toast plate, and now it's time to get started on the sketch. So as I said in the beginning of this video, I am going to be painting toast. If you haven't seen this trend going around, you kind of paint a realistic-ish toast picture or toast little scene, and then you use a textured paint or thick paint to put on top of the toast to make it look like the toast spread. So that's what I'm doing. I decided to do two different ones. For this one, I made the background pink and I made the bread some of that fancy bread that's sliced like, you know, little fancy oval bread, not like a regular slice of bread. This one's cool bread. And so I went along with that and painted it. I decided to put this little book in the background, kind of make it look like a little journal moment. I feel like the journal added a really cozy little feel to this painting, which I really loved. I actually have seen the idea for this painting technique a little while ago on another social media platform, but recently I saw Banana Jamana's channel posted something about this painting technique, and so I thought I would definitely have to try it out because her video was labeled trying out this realistic painting technique or actually it was you have to try it, so I had to try it. I decided to add in some black, to add in some more details to everything and kind of make the toast look burnt because even painted toast is not perfect toast. And then it was time to add in some finer details. I started working on this little fork, which was actually a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. And then I started filling out the journal with these fake word squiggles. I tried to make it look like it was real words, but I didn't actually write anything. So don't try to read it. You won't find anything out. And then I just kept on going, adding more and more little details and just kind of perfecting the whole thing. I decided to add in some purple, try out a little bit more color on it just to add some deeper parts to it and make it a little more fun. I definitely kept the style a little bit more like it was painted because that's the whole point. That's the technique that I was trying out. And once I had finished everything, I just kept adding a little more detail. I did not paint the center of the bread because that's going to come later and it's going to be magical, a magical moment. So we're going to do that later. For now, I'm just finishing off by adding in some little pepper flakes. And here is this one completed. And I wanted to do two. So here is the second one getting its sketching. It took me a couple of tries for this one to finally get the sketch how I wanted it, but I did. And for this one, I decided to make the background blue. I thought it would be a good contrast to the other one, which was pink. And I thought it would look good with all of the colors that I already had in mind. I decided to add in some preliminary shadows to everything just to make it easier later. And then it was time to keep on going with everything else. For this one, I made the toast a normal slice of toast, just your regular bread slice. And I added in a little butter knife to it. That way I could put some texture paste on that too later to make it look like it was actually spread using the knife. So that was kind of a fun idea. And then I just kept on going, adding in everything, putting down the base colors for everything, and then going in later with more details. I also decided to add in a little cup of coffee for this one, just to add in those details. It's the little details that really make the whole difference. So I just kept on working on it and building everything up, making sure the toast was the center of attention for each painting. It was pretty funny making a painting about toast like you want the toast to be the main focus of your painting kind of a funny thing but also really fun to do 
I also decided to add in some strawberries on the side because they are going to also be on top of the toast after I spread it, so I felt like this would be a good touch just to tie everything in together. I decided to make this little coffee, like one of those fancy lattes you can get with the little designs on top. So that's what I decided to do. I add in those white little flowery looking designs on top, and then I added even more detail to the strawberries. I just wanted to make them look as realistic, but also painted still as possible. So that's what I did. And then it was time to finish everything up. I added in some more details on the knife and just little details here and there until it was completed and I was finally satisfied. I can kind of be a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to these things. I want all of the highlights to be in the right places. I want everything to look exactly how I want it to look in my head. So I just touched up everything here and there, just made it a little more detailed and added in those finishing details that will really set apart the piece. I almost forgot to add in the green strawberry hat, so I'm glad I didn't forget to do that. I added in a little more white on the sides of the plate, and then this one was also done. I decided real quick to paint some strawberries on a separate canvas. I'm using this little cat clipboard so I don't get it on my desk. I decided to paint these strawberries because in Banana Jamana's video, she used a separate canvas to paint strawberries and then she cut them out and used them on top of the spread later on the toast. So that's also what I'm going to do. I thought this was a seriously genius idea that just added an, a whole another layer to this. So I wanted to give it a try as well and I'm really glad that I did. Now it is time for the moment we have all been waiting for, the spread. I'm going to be using this texture paint in the color Kiwi Sour. It is very thick and very lime green. So I diluted it with this watermelon sour color and that helped mute the color. So I got this nice avocado green so that I could spread it on top of the toast and make it look like it was real avocado and it was crazy and so surreal to do this. It felt like I was spreading real avocado on my painting and I wasn't obviously, but tell me that that doesn't look like real avocado. Look at that, it's just insane. And now it's time for the next one. For this, I used a paste instead and it was in this white fluffy color. It was so fun to spread. It was like spreading actual cream cheese. It kind of felt wrong, but it was so much fun to put on top of my painting. And I also put it on top of this little knife that I painted to make it look like I spread it with the knife. And now it's time to add my strawberries from before on top of the toast. So now you can kind of see the idea come to life of the strawberries being on top of the fake cream cheese or whatever fluffy stuff it is on top. This was the stuff I used to create it. And here we go. I decided to poke the edges in with a toothpick just to make sure everything was secured to the toast. And once I put all of the strawberries on, this painting was also completed. Here's a look at the final results. It is so cool. I have never used textured paint or paste or whatever before ever. So this was such a fun project and the 3D effect is so unreal. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you try this out, let me know because this was so fun and created some of the coolest art that I think I have ever made for real. I had so much fun making this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!